In this tutorial, I will be using mod API to one shot kill enemies and to not die. The most common questions I get are, can you do this in creative mode? Yes, you can. You can do this in any mode that you want to do it in. Can you do this in multiplayer? Yes, you can. How do you make your screen so bright? Well, in the in-game settings, in the graphics tab, I go over to color grading and I select M131. I then hit Alt F3 to open up my NVIDIA filters and I choose the brightness slash contrast setting. In there, I turn the contrast to negative 100% and I turn the shadows down to negative 100%. Another question I get, why can't I pick up or find the item? Well, if you're on console, the PC is different. For example, on the PC, I can go to the yacht or I can go to the hanging cave to get the cassette player. On the console, you can only go to the yacht. Another very common question I get, why won't the cave cross off? There are three possible reasons to this. The first one, it could be a glitch. Save the game, quit the game. If you're on PC, verify the cache, load the game back up, and then very quickly go in and out of each entrance to the cave. If that does not work, you probably missed something, which is number two. You'll have to just rewatch the video Try and retrace your steps, figure out what you did wrong. Number three, you probably didn't explore the connected cave first. For example, I tried to explore baby cave while I was playing the forest one time. And while I did that, it didn't cross off. I had to explore hanging cave first, get that crossed off and then go into the baby cave, which is keep exploring hanging cave, by the way, that's what, we're, that's what I'm talking about. I had to then go back into that cave and then I could cross it off. I don't know if that's just something they knew that they threw in or what. Maybe it's a glitch, I don't know. But I'm just letting you know that there is a possibility that it is there. Cave 10, Waterfall Cave. There are two entrances to this cave. You will need to destroy a wall in the lawyer's cave to get to the second entrance. The most important item in this cave is cassette tape three. This item will unlock an achievement once you pick it up if you have been following and watching the videos in order using the playlist. The other items located in this cave are as followed. A Bible page, artifact sketch. If you've collected beneath the limestone in submerged cave, it will not show up here in this cave. There are no passengers in this cave. I also recommend that if you did not do the other caves, which are as followed. Dead cave, hanging cave, wet cave, baby cave, submerged cave, lawyer's cave, and the ledge cave. There is a card in the top right corner now that will take you to a playlist. I recommend you do those caves first and then come back and watch this video. If you have those caves crossed off already, continue watching the video. And with all that being said, Let's head right on into this cave. All right, so heading into cave number 10, you're going to want to go through the lawyer's cave entrance, which is near East Lake. You want to use that entrance there. Come on over here. And this is the safest entrance to get in. So you, you're going to want to do this one 100%. Pull out some dynamites. Okay. Head on down in here. There's nothing in this area. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure everything is inside the actual uh, cave itself. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, throw this at that wall right there. There we go, and then head on in. Okay. Uh, I can't see, so I need a light. Get a flashlight out. Thank you. There we go. Oh, there's another. Okay, there's another wall right here. So we're gonna need a. <laughs> we're gonna need this, another stick of dynamite. All right. There we go. Just throw it at the wall. Near him. Back up. There we go, and then head on in. And I don't think there's any more walls, so I'm going to pull up my flashlight now. And there we go. Okay. Yep. We want to head on in here. We want to head on through this cubby hole right here. There we go. Okay. Head on in here. And then in here, there is some cannibals that you can hear, but there's also a big boy. Look at this boy right here. Boom. I think I missed. There we go. <laughs> I guess I didn't miss. I don't know. There's two arrows on him. Anyway, so there's a big boy. Just watch out for that guy. That's why the safest way to enter is the walk-in entrance. That guy should be dead. There we go. All right. Beneath the limestone is in this cave, but we already got it in another cave, so it won't be here. There's a Bible page and a sketch. So here is a sketch, I believe. Maybe it's the Bible page. I'm not sure. 
And yeah, uh, there's a sketch somewhere. Artifact sketch. Oh, okay, that's that's up there. All right. So yes, this is what this area is right here. This is cave number ten. All right. There's absolutely nothing in here besides the red paint and uh, that that Bible page, I guess. Everything. Oh, there's there's a cassette tape in here. Oh my God, I found a cassette tape. I thought this was out of the game. I gotta write that down. Holy crap. Well, there you go. I found all the cassette tapes. Nice. All right. Well, I thought that was out of the game, but there you go. There you have it. It is not out of the game. It's actually in the game. Oh, wait a minute. On the PC, you can also get the cassette tape at the yacht on the land, which I don't know if it'll be there, but you can get it there too. But when you pick it up, it doesn't show in your inventory. But I think on the console, you can pick it up and get it there. So that is completely new to me. I didn't even know that. That's what you get for watching outdated tutorials. That's why you watch this one. Cassette tape three is right there. Okay. That's why you watch this one. All up to date. I know all. I see all. Everything is fantastic. I'm going to fly up this rope because there's no freaking way I'm going to walk up that. No, thanks. Or climb up that. I mean, I'm going to just use the speed. Okay. So once you get the cassette tape that I just found out right now and uh, a Bible page over there. You're gonna want to go to this rope and want to climb up it okay and you're gonna end up right here okay let me just turn this all off you're gonna end up right here you might want to pause the video until you get up here or you can keep watching up to you but once you get up here it's just it's mostly just scenery it's it looks really freaking good up here again i wish they put something in the water but they did not put anything in the water which kind of sucks they put like a hanging whatever the hell that is but they put that in there that guy got sacrificed rip so, uh, yeah, they put that in there. I wish they put, like, an enemy or something in, in the water, but they didn't. Uh, over here at these tents, you will find a sketch of the artifact right there. And now that is everything inside this cave. There we go, okay? You can save your game here if you want. It's a campfire right there. You're going to want to go to this rope right here. And, oh, there we go. To-do list updated. And that is the waterfall cave done right there. All, all done. Easy peasy game. Easy peasy. On the left side of the screen, we're going to be taking a short trip to the yacht for some story items. Okay. So if you want to do that, you click on that. On the right side, there's a playlist. If you want to skip right to cave seven and eight, which is the last two caves, use the playlist to skip to those because I'm going to be covering the yacht and I'm going to be covering the plane. And there's also one more thing at the cargo ships okay so it's gonna be all three of those locations if you want to skip all that use the playlist go to cave seven to continue your spelunker achievements and the other inventory stuff okay so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed take care and bye bye